Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. And with me today, again, I have my special guest, Ruby. Now, we did do a video on, on 4th of July safety uh, just this week earlier because we wanted to, um, you know, make sure that all the other animals out there were safe. But with 4th of July coming up in a couple days here, we wanted to give you guys some more tips because some of my tips last time were to take your animal to the vet. Obviously, by now, if you haven't gone to the vet, it might be difficult to get into a vet. So I wanted to give you guys some more tips for how to deal with 4th of July and how to make it enjoyable for your pet. So, Ruby wants first off to remind everyone that she has a collar on, your animal needs a collar on. In the event that something happens, even if it has nothing to do with 4th of July, in the event that something happens and your dog gets lost, Having a collar on it can save, or, or cat for that matter, any animal, having a collar on them can save their life and get your loved one back to you. So please, please, please make sure that you have a collar on your animal. It, you know, it, it, it's just a good way to protect your animal and make sure that they stay safe. Especially during the 4th of July when, you know, things scare them, you know, things can happen, anything can happen. Okay, so for our second tip today, I want to remind you all, please make sure to shut your blinds and shut your windows during the 4th of July. First off, noise. It'll cut down on some of the noise if you shut your windows. Plus, smoking. You don't want any of that smoke in your house, okay? So those are two reasons. But the third reason may surprise you. Animals are prone to jumping out windows on the 4th of July. It's a proven fact. Every year, animals will jump out of their wind of windows, even if they're closed, because they're scared. So... Shutting your blinds and windows is a good way to deter them from doing that. They won't think about it. They won't see it. They can't see the fireworks. They can't, you know what I mean? So that's another good way to protect your animal. Just shut your blinds. It'll reduce the noise, as I said, and it'll make them feel safe. Number three, what's the third thing you can do to help your animal? Oh, you got the shakes, Ruby. Oh. Anyways, the, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, number three, the third thing that you can do to protect your animal is try to distract them. If you're not going out for fireworks, maybe you're gonna have some fireworks you're gonna watch on the TV, you know, whatever. My main point here is distract your animal. Play with your animal. Have Do fun things with your animal. If they're distracted, the 4th of July might not bother them as bad. It just, you know, it's just one of those ways to distract them. Now, I do wanna give I will do go on and give you guys uh, uh, an option here. I did some digging for you. She's got the shakes again. Oh. Anyways, I did some digging for you guys. And I came across a channel that specializes in music for, for dogs, especially during the 4th of July and cats, during the 4th of July that will calm them down. All you have to do is put on this YouTube channel. I'll put it in the link, the link in the description. Put on this YouTube channel and it will calm Hopefully calm your animal down with some nice calming music that you can put in. Even if you're going away, just, you know, leave it on. They'll calm the animal down. They'll feel better. They're, they're, and she's really got the shakes. What's going on? But it'll really make them feel better. So that's another, that's a third thing that you can do. Uh, finally, there is products out there that you can buy. I know it's a little late in the game. I'll still mention them. Things like a thunder coat work to help, you know, calm your animal down and make them feel better. Things like that will help. But the main thing, if you follow these three tips, make sure to keep them away from all fireworks and all fireworks shows. You should be okay. This has been another episode of Mumbles and I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching. I just really wanted to stress and do another video on this because I really, really, really worry about all the pets out there during this time of the year. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you guys just a little update as to some more things that you could do. I hope you all enjoy. Ruby hopes you enjoy. Ruby wants to thank you so much for joining us. You can, excuse me, you can follow me on Twitter at the underscore mumbles underscore. Um, you can uh, follow me on Facebook, uh, message me, whatever. And uh, yeah, this is going to be Mumble signing off, everyone. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to me. I'd love to have you in, as part of my, you know, group. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching again. Be safe on the 4th of July and have fun. And happy 4th of July, everyone. Say happy 4th of July, Ruby. Say happy 4th of July. Okay, she's not going to say, but she wishes you a happy 4th of July, too. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.